New details today about a public figure's private health troubles and the confirmation that many feared. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford has cancer. Doctors say he has a very rare and fairly aggressive form of the disease. Ron Charles is outside the hospital where Ford is being treated. Ron. Peter, Rob Ford is known as a scrappy politician, always up for a good fight. Tonight, he lies in this hospital, preparing for the fight of his life. Doctors at Toronto's Mount Sinai Hospital gave Rob Ford's family the diagnosis and prognosis from his abdominal tumour about three days ago. Today, with the Toronto Mayor's permission, they shared it publicly. An extremely rare cancer called pleomorphic liposarcoma. It is a liposarcoma, lipo meaning, meaning fat. So it comes from the fatty tissue. It arises out of the fatty tissue, but it is definitely a malignant tumour. There is no known cause. Treatment for Ford will begin with three days of aggressive chemotherapy. I can say that we are optimistic about treatment. This particular liposarcoma is more sensitive to chemotherapy than most sarcomas. That's, that is an optimistic statement in and of itself. I'm trying to be positive. Ford's family members would not publicly comment on the diagnosis. His brother Doug Ford, who took over Rob Ford's run for mayor, did release a statement about him saying, he is an incredible person, husband, father, brother and son, and he remains upbeat and determined to fight this. The Prime Minister also released a statement. We wish him a speedy and complete recovery and are certain that he will take on this fight with all of his characteristic tenacity and energy. News of Ford's diagnosis hit hard in the West End Toronto neighbourhood that is the epicentre of the Ford brothers' political support. I sincerely feel sorry for him and his family. I hope he does recover. And soon. I feel so bad about, yeah, I love him. He's a very good man, very good person. So I wish I can visit him. So see how he feels. The cancer is not good for anyone. It's, it's a sad thing. Ford is still running for a city council seat while he will be undergoing chemotherapy. He may be able to work through it. I think that he will be able to be functional but he's going to have some rough days. Uh, I mean, that's just common sense. The potential for rough days may explain why Rob Ford pulled out of Toronto's mayoral race late last week. He may not have known what he had, but clearly he knew he would have to pick his fight. Peter? Ron Charles here in Toronto.